So, the wild card series happened like a week and a half ago. And we are getting a program about it now. Here you see Zach Wheeler. He's playing in the CS. So is Gabby Moreno. Uh, the twins should be. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Well, we'll let the voice speak for itself. I tried <laughs> my damnedest, everything I could to... Uh, lean into a twins win it didn't happen but leave a like down below subscribe to the channel and let's talk about it brand new wild card program you see a rolls royce you see a bryson stott uh pretty good stuff 99 overall cards which uh was a long rumor we talked about it would they actually give us 99s in the postseason program and not fully but overall i think you got to be pretty happy with what we got here like Huascar Brazaban, who I certainly pronounced that correctly. He's got pretty good stats. I mean, sinker cutter combo. The programs have had really good relief pitchers out of them as of late, which is awesome. You love to see that. 116, 119 K and really good pitch clutch. We talked about this before. If you don't have maxed out on those three stats, you're basically a bum. Taylor Walls, who... Uh, credit to him, had to fill in that starting shortstop role uh, due to a certain man, or less of a man, a boy, a fraud, a piece of shit, whatever you want to call him, uh, couldn't play. Uh, but Taylor Walsh gets a card here, collected two signals. The Rays got uh, blasted. Not the best series. A lot of people talking about the playoff format. Maybe you should win some games. That's what I would say. Trevor McGill, again, he's got really good stats. Uh, the pitch mix, not quite as good, uh, but he does have outlier two. Got an outlier on the knuckle curveball. <laughs> okay, that could be pretty fun. That could be pretty cool. Beef stew, baby. Brock Stewart. Uh, lovely man. Very happy that he got his moment of the postseason, and uh, he'll have more moments next season. Very good stats. His POTM card was insane. I'm sure this one will be too. Here's what I'm talking about. I don't even remember this happening. It could be um, the extra amount of Pilsner running through my blood vessels, uh, but Either way, I don't remember this happening. It was so long ago. Uh, either way, Santiago Espinal, all-star, mind you, gets a card. Paul Seawald, traded, uh, traded from the Mariners to the Diamondbacks. Probably a good reason he's going to see a championship series here. Been big down the stretch for him. Gets a card. Good stats, not the best mix. Tyrone Taylor for the Brew Crew. I was pretty damn disappointed. They put up a decent fight. They scored some runs. The Diamondbacks, I think, are really just a pretty dang good team i mean they've got good arms and they've got good bats that came alive at the right moment like kevin ginkle i mean he put some solid innings in the bullpen dominated two innings uh, with four strikeouts and he gets a nice card here he's got a sinker too kevin kiermeyer gets a card i guess again there wasn't too many guys who really had standout performances uh for the blue jays or the twins it was really just the guy that got the 99 uh, zach little for the rays a 98 overall card here a lot of cards they're really souping up the supplemental guys which i think is great even if they didn't have the biggest of moments they still get a card which is great for theme team fodder as we move on to the endless cycle which set four, set five, set six, you're going to be able to use the rest of the year. Of course, season six, once that comes out basically on Christmas, you can use any card if you still play the game, of course. Willie Adamas, the first 99 here, pretty good. He had that really good headliners card early on in the year. Max Fielding, really good hitting. That's a damn nice card. Evan Carter, man. This guy might be 21. You would think he's 31. You would think he's had uh, 300 postseason plate appearances. He looks like an absolute rock star. And those Rangers, that Astros Rangers series is going to be nice. The only reason I'm not actually in tears over the fact that the Twins lost. I, I was close too. You know, maybe someone was cutting onions nearby at Target Field, but 
Some waterworks were brewing. You see Monty gets a card. Had a big diving catch for the Rangers. Bryson Stott, he gets a card. Of course, the grand slam against the Marlins that really clinched things uh, for the Phillies to move on in the next round. Uh, but great card. Really good stuff. Hell of a year. Great defender, too. But this is what we all came here for. Royce fucking Lewis. That vision is way higher than it should be. It should be more like 20. But damn it, four homers in his uh, first, what, five postseason games? There's a lot of promise. There's a lot of good stuff. He's not 23. <laughs> uh, Royce Lewis is not 23 years old. Uh, he isn't. I'm pretty sure he's like 20, 24, 25, I think. Um, pretty good. I mean, maxed out against righties, good against lefties too. That's a nice card. And there is online stat missions once again for you guys to earn here. Um, only thing I would change, I would keep the online stat missions, but make this just cumulative. Add even more reason if you're going to play this online because it's tougher to get these stats online, especially with tougher to use cards not quite as good attribute wise i would just make this p uh stat missions and this online but still good i'm still happy that they're going this way uh there is a mini seasons out too which you guys can get uh vouchers another way to get progress so there is pxp mission sweet what am i even talking about I talk about it, say they should do it. It's already in there. Uh, I do really enjoy the fact that they're expanding on the different varieties to gain progress in the program. Not everybody wants to play the game the exact same way. And I still don't think it's quite perfect, but it's definitely improving. So good job on them for that one. Postseason program looks pretty fucking juiced. Only complaint is, again, um, you know, it's been a little while since the wild card series actually did conclude. Jordan Lawler for the D-backs. That team is good right now. They've got a great group of guys in the farm. they got Drew Jones, Jordan Lawler. They're going to be good for a long time coming. And uh, nice 99 future stars for him. Pretty good card. And then this is Christy Matthews. And I unfortunately saw on Twitter, uh, yeah, that's that's the card right there. Pretty rock solid. Okay, gonna get you rock solid just by looking at this card art. So sexy. What a beautiful looking man, Christy. And then some great Brooklyn Dodgers uniforms uh, for the Dodger fans to wipe their tears on after they got swept by the D-backs. Uh, there is also an event out today, too, and... We'll talk about that. I know the 99 is a Zach Wheeler. He gets one for a very good postseason. He has looked excellent so far. Had a good divisional series against the Braves as well. I am shocked that the Braves in back-to-back -back years really did not show up in October. I picked him to win it all last year. It didn't happen. I was a little bit more prudent. I wasn't quite as optimistic this year, but I still thought they'd have a better showing. For a team with the highest slugging percentage in league history, the Phillies do have some good arms, no doubt, but for them to put up that paltry of a performance is just really unfortunate because um, they've got such a talented team. I mean, top to bottom, that lineup uh, has been so good for a reason because they are just so good from one to nine. It's not just a superstar or two. It's the whole damn culture. Then Gabby Moreno, great postseason for him as well. He had a big three-run cock shot off Kershaw that really sent him off the rails. And he gets a little disrespect here. He definitely deserved a better card than that. That's a little, uh, little lacking. But Blue Jay fans, certainly very happy about that trade. Uh, <laughs> Josh Bell. For the Marlins, a very good trade for them. And he showed up, two doubles in game one, and a single, three hits. Switch hitter, I love his swing, was one of my favorite cards last year. Is going to be pretty damn good. The 12 win being Zach Wheeler, as we talked about. The Stips, live series, wild card team, players, I, I assume that's referred to. Um, 2023 postseason cards, and then postseason cards in general. And then uh, the mini seasons. I don't know if we're going to be able to see it right on. It is a Chris Taylor uh, for the Dodgers. They get a little bit of love in, you know, uh, a weird year for the Dodgers. Uh, some things never change, do they, Kirsch? Uh, but I don't think that we can see the, the Chris Taylor right now because nobody's discovered him yet. But it will come. We will see the stats, and no doubt he will be 
respectable, I think. Uh, looking forward, we've got uh, the Divisional Series program on the 20th. That will be, again, about 10 days after it actually finished. Uh, then also some Halloween stuff the week following, which will be cool. A lot of 99s. It seems like they understand at this point, if anybody's going to play the fucking game, we might as well put out some top-tier cards. So, Good. You know, that's a good thing. Let me know what you guys think about the update today. Apologies for sounding, uh, you know, somewhere between a six-year-old and a prepubescent. I don't know. Depends. Depends. But I'll stop talking here so I can go rest up. Leave a like down below. Thank you for watching.